recession. So this is your 45th season with the bandits? <laughs> 46. <laughs> oh. I never was good at math. <laughs> but eighth season in the league. Yes, yeah. It was, at, it, this would be ninth, because in 2008, I, I signed a contract for like a dollar. So like I was oh. still on the roster, but I just wasn't here. I was playing in Beijing. So I've been here since it first started. And the changes between then and now? Oh my gosh, it's just gotten better and better. That's why I keep coming back. <laughs> what makes it better? Oh, I mean, playing in Rosemont has just been amazing. The support that we get, you just feel like such a professional athlete. And um, I mean, this I, when I played in college, I, ne I never had a locker room. We didn't have a stadium. So, uh -huh. I mean, this is my first locker room. I, cool. When I got my locker and my name was on it, I was, you know, really happy because uh, that's... You know why we're playing. So you you don't miss the uh, the college campus with. Well, you, the, know, you know, college was awesome, but um. But I, I mean, the ones that you played at when with the bandits at the. Oh, yeah, at Benedictine and yeah. uh, at Lyle, uh, or excuse me, um, Elgin. Right. You know, the facilities were awesome there. It's just you know, as we've we've gotten better and we've grown, you know, the facilities have changed a little bit for us. So, <laughs> yes. <laughs> So now, now that you guys are so close to the entertainment section in Rosemont, mm -hmm. is, is, is this where you gravitate after the games or you just go home and collapse? Um, you know, we each do our own thing. We definitely get together and do dinners after. And um, I mean, the entertainment district is awesome. I, I don't know if you've ever been there, but you have just so much to choose from. So, um, you know, after a win like this, you're feeling good. It's nice to hang around the girls and grab some dinner and, and just kind of unwind that way. So. Where do you go? Oh, entertainment district. We go over yeah. all, yeah. Like, uh -huh. like Toby Keith's or, mm -hmm. or Hugo's Frog Bar or the Rivers Casino or the, you or know, all Hofbra of the, House. The Hofbra House, for it's sure. Like Allison yeah. knows all the places. Yeah. Uh-huh, we're that there. I've never been in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. So, um, yeah, all those yeah. places. Yeah. <laughs> we go We go to Bram a lot as well. Bram's um, right around the corner just from, you know, we're you know, close by. So we, um, we go there a lot. Too. It's a great, it's a fun atmosphere. Talk about um, also uh, the Olympics is, almost, is uh, going to be uh, what, 2020. It, there's a chance that baseball and softball are going to uh, come back. They have one sport to choose to fill out that roster of, of sports. Um, what, is, what are um, the softball gals doing to uh, help that? Help that? Yeah. I mean, um, we've always done um, petitions and we've got like Facebook groups and trying to get the social media behind the social networking behind it stuff like that um, I mean it's just word of mouth really and trying to, to let um, the IOC members know like hey softball's out there it's a big sport it's growing um, there's so many great athletes out there still that are playing I mean so um, that's basically it you know we, we have a good shot we're hoping for it um, it's on the short list so it's, it, so it's you haven't tried the softball bats to the kneecaps yet? <laughs> That's last resort. Oh, okay. Last resort. <laughs> yeah.